Welcome to Pokemon Dungeons and Dragons. Join our heroes, Phoebe, Milo, CJ, Bentley, as they explore the Laris region, learn about their new friends, and discover the world around them. As our heroes depart the Xantha City Gym, the most burning question on their minds is what to do next. Um, to start us off, instead of that, hey, Ben, um, or Bentley, sorry, I hate to confuse you with your character. Please it's a very roll. different name. Please roll out the 100. 32. 32 is not enough. As he is. <laughs> Kindly leave. <laughs> and goodbye, Bentley. What? You didn't roll high enough to save the table. Sorry. <laughs> the door is over there. We dislike you that much. <laughs> and then it's like, CJ, do you want to run? <laughs> Higher than 32. Higher than 32. 33? The door is over there. <laughs> okay. 86, um, I hope I'm sorry. Oh, you, yeah, you can say it. Yes. Wow. Um, so, the the day is yours, everybody. It's like, we're, we're probably talking late afternoon by the time you guys finish your shenanigans inside the Xantha City gym. Uh, I would like to see if there's a shop that's not Shay's, maybe. Um, Because I want to see if there's some sort of carrying thing for Derby, my new male pal. Wait, you don't like Shay? Well, I went there to see if he had stuff, and he didn't. Oh, yeah, he said the back thing. He told us about that. Oops. Could go for some shopping? No, I mean, I got money to spend, so... (laughs) Yeah. Shay is, like, the general store. He basically, it's like, if you went to, like, a quick trip, Okay. That's basically what shape. Is there like a wall? <laughs> there are Pokeballs and microwave burritos. <laughs> yeah, a target. Um, you may make an investigation check if you would like to see. He's easy. 18. Yeah, oh! Found. So, you know from your brief, well, not, not so brief anymore, uh, stay in Xantha. Like half the campaign. Yeah. <laughs> that there is not another shop oh. in Xantha. It is Shay's general store <clears throat> and then a number of the broken down buildings that you guys have been okay. kind of exploring around what used about, like, to be big big shops. Does Arthur have like neighbors or anything? Arthur has precious few neighbors. It's the people that work in the gym. Shay lives down there and then for the most part, it's like Javier, and then there's the the inn tavern that supports any passersby. The The city of Xantha is quite literally a ghost town. Um, there are like, there are trainers in the Pokemon Center that come to like fight the gym and then move on, but nobody really stays. Do you want to check one of the stores that is not a store anymore and see if there's stuff in there that store. is free? Or do you guys just want to go shop at, shop at Shay's? I don't, I'm, I don't necessarily need anything. I was just going to probably buy something that I don't need because I've never had this much money before. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd be open to looking into some of those abandoned houses. CJ and I had yeah. fun, even though it was, it was kind of scary. Okay. But, uh, also, before we leave, we need to thank Arthur for letting us stay at his place yeah, for you gotta, a bunch of nights. I gotta give Ruby a hug. I was going to say, I feel like we're going if, to... If it's late afternoon, we'll probably yeah, be there stay tonight. and leave. It, w- it would, it would behoove you to sleep before you left. I would need more cooking from Ruby. Fair enough. Uh, specifically the two of you that did not take the winner's way down. Um, your your crews are not recuperated. Or winners. Mm. Okay, so we'll go to the Pokemon, Pokemon Center, Center then. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, do you guys want to scout for the shoppiest looking abandoned building or you just want to go together? Up to you, man. If you want us to do that, I'm down. Yeah. Yeah, we could go scope it out and then just hang out outside. Okay. That helps. Sounds good. Cool. Sweet. So we'll go to the Pokemon Center. Cool. And heal up. Cool. I'll <clears> instinctively <throat> pace by the Pidgey Coop two, maybe three times to Excellent. see if he's there. How savage would it be if I just went? That's <laughs> pretty savage. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you're waiting to see if... It's Montgomery more like back. like as I walked in the Pokemon Center, I walked by it to see, and then I went and healed, and then I like went back out and like walked by it again. Like um, it wasn't my intention, but it one hundred percent was. And you then, sir, if you'd be so kind, just roll a d eight, and then 
Let me know what you get. Three. Excellent. Um, so for the two of you, mm-hmm. making your way uh, downtown. To the ghost town. Ghost town. Back to the ghost town. Back to the ghost town. Um, yeah, so uh, if you guys will remember, there was like the big uh, big courthouse type building that you guys were in where you rescued uh, Yoga Gloom. Yeah. Um, and then there's the... <laughs> out of context, this is a very silly phrase. And then there's the two buildings on sort of either side of the the street. Do you, right. want, you want to split them? Absolutely. Right or left? I'm going right. Okay. I'll peep the buildings on the left. Sick. You guys like looking inside or just surface? <laughs> I'm not looking anywhere. Ah, it's CJ. I'm just trying to smack my head on the ground. <laughs> Dirty 20. <laughs> probably. Uh, a, uh, a crash probably like trips you or something. Probably. Just like around, he like swings his tail around. Wow. Ah, yeah. uh, and then you get like a 20 something? Like 21. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. There it is, the dirty 20s. Um, yeah, so you see the, and you're on the left side of the street? Well, looking at the two leftmost buildings, because the one that we went in was in the center, yes. and CJ's looking at the ones on the right. Sick. Yeah, so CJ just immediately trips. You kind of laugh at him for a second, and then you um, you focus a bit, and you <clears throat> turn to the left. Uh, you see something that looks to be like an old like saloon. It's got like two big like, salooning doors. <sighs> And then there's a uh, there's a a familiar building to you guys that has a big kind of plus sign over it that you guys have already investigated. Mm. It's the building on the edge of town where you learned uh, got the big big house. hole in it. Has a massive hole in it. crash. Uh, yes. <clears throat> The building is one and the same. Well, uh, we already went in one of these, and the other one looks to be a saloon, so I don't know how much help that would be, but what did you see? I think we should go in the saloon. <laughs> <laughs> see this on stars. <laughs> Tra- it crash trip me. Uh, I don't know if it was on purpose or not. I can't really tell. <laughs> he's already <laughs> just waddling like a head. Yeah, he's doing his thing. Can, can, can Bentley look at the other two buildings, even though yes. it would probably be a harder Bentley, check? Bentley, you may look at the other two buildings. Okay. Uh, seven. <laughs> it is not hard to see that there are, in fact, two other buildings on the other side of the street, but both of them are lacking in a lot of distinguishing features. Uh, they look like they used to have signs above them that have long since kind of rusted, fallen off. Um, the wood that they're kind of carved into is kind of decaying. They're, one of them has like two big chains. One of them's kind of broken off. It's kind of just swinging ominously in the wind. I vote saloon or chain building. <laughs> the two scariest, please. <laughs> yep, <laughs> basically. Well, we can ask the rest of the team when they get here, I guess. True, we could do that. Mm-hmm. Or we could just poke our heads in and be like... <laughs> Oh, then well, we can wait. Be, be like what? We can wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so the two of you, I uh, find find your, your friends <coughs> nice and healed up, cool, ready to go. I'm gonna do a Yankee swap at the PC. Okay. Yay. For um, we're, we're gonna give little buddy a break after all the battling. Cool. And bring out Derby. Little Derby. Ooh, Derby. Derby. Cool. Welcome to the squad, Derby. Derby. All right, we're gonna go meet up with them. Yeah. Phoebe, is there anything that you need to take care of in the interim period while everybody's getting healed up? Uh, she, uh yes. I'm going to take William out of the PC temporarily. Okay. Just to once again express my gratitude that he did such an awesome job at something mm-hmm. that no one else would have ever assumed he could have done, including me, and I'm sorry I ever doubted him. <laughs> he gives you his patented William salute. <laughs> Tongue hanging out of the mouth. Um, kind of jostles the hand a little bit on his back. Okay. Um, and then I'm just going to let him know I'm going to take a boysenberry for a little while uh, to let him get a chance so that he has time outside of the PC and not just in a, in a gym battle. Okay. And then going right back. Okay. Uh, William kind of excitedly scurries up on top of your head, kind of messes with your hair a little bit, and then kind of jumps off. You. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Betty. You stick him back into the PC. Away he goes. 
Alright. William! Okay. And then the the two of you make your way to the the spooky side of town? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna toss out Pendleton. <gasps> cool. He looks up bad. He gives you a big yawn, kind of stretches. Pendy oh. boy! That was the extent of that. I just wanted to be he's, up. He's just out about. He's uh, kind of taken in the sights. Of Pendleton, do you know what any of these buildings maybe used to be? If any of them used to be shops of any kind? <clears throat> All right, well, we're at the shop. Pendleton does not know what the buildings are. Are Pendy, you look well-rested, yet also still tired. (laughs) He kind of goes like, nice. (laughs) That's a big yawn there, buddy. I'm going to get a high five real quick. It's very sticky. Add it to the list. (laughs) It's covered in honey and, like, old fur. A little bit of dirt on there. Oh, well. It's not great, but, you know. Whatever. It'll do. I already licked it. (laughs) (laughs) The rest of the team. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, the rest of the team makes their way down. You guys see for the first time in several, like, probably two in-game days, you see Pendleton. He's kind of out and about. Hey, Pendleton. He looks good. Which, uh... (laughs) Which one are we going? He looks in? good. I vote saloon or chain building. We figured we'd ask you. Yeah, we've already been in the middle big building. That's where we found Gloom and where I caught Nipsey. And then far left, we were in that building. I think you'll recognize it. That's where that uh, dastardly yeah. lab was. Mm-hmm. So three to pick from. One with a chain hanging down. Another one with saloon doors. Uh, I don't know. I would say maybe the saloon one, because of Cause kind you're of you're a cowboy. Well, I was thinking because <laughs> the saloon for sure, like with doors like that, it's gonna be a place where you would at least buy minimally drinks, but hopefully other things. Or that could be like a house, so I don't really know. All right, guess we're cowboys <laughs> to the saloon. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, can I get a marching order of who's who's leading the charge into the oh, saloon? Oh, guys. I think you are. I'm happy yeah. to go first. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so do you, do you just barge in? Uh, yeah. As an old-style cowboy. Yeah, player. I'm, like, excited about <laughs> so cowboy. Uh, being a cowboy, I'm, like, I kind of walk up, like, waddle, and Crash sees me doing it, and he, like, starts yeah. to do it, too. Yeah. <laughs> so the two of you walk in, pop open Crash door. puts his hands on, like, an imaginary belt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, you guys, <clears throat> as you open the, the big saloon doors, you're greeted by, like, years of dust, just... Kind of sinking in. Uh, it's kind of settled, and as you kick the doors over, it kind of brushes the surface layer of dust off everything. Um, as you scan the room, you want to make a percepti check? No, I don't. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> eight. Okay. Uh, you see, like, a couple of circular tables, some knocked over chairs on them. Looks like a, a long ended <clears throat> card game. This kind of uh, run dry there. You don't see any signs of, like, life in here it looks pretty well just abandoned for a while okay is it just a regular deck of cards do you go investigate yeah would you like to make an investigation check please? yeah right <laughs> 16 um so they are kind of like fire themed so it's like a deck of cards but instead of like clubs and spades and all those it'll it would be like a like a block of coal and like an ember hmm I'm gonna, I'm gonna take them. You gonna take them? Yeah. Cool. Deck yes. of cards get. You have a you have a deck of xanthan cards. Okay. All, all, what 50, is the all quality? 52 cards? <laughs> what is just the like quality? a couple. I have some, I have something in mind with this. You've what? got like you have like ten of them and they're not great. There's only ten like, of the fifty two. <laughs> yeah. Like it looks like two hands got like laid down and then like the deck is missing, but like there's So I have ten of them? Yeah. Okay. You can decide what they are. Okay. If you'd like. What do you got there, Milo? I found some cards. Good for you. Thank you. I'm gonna become Gambit. <laughs> <laughs> God. Can you read my picture? Gambit is one of my favorite. No. no so joke. are there? Can I give it a shot? It's pretty sick. Uh, I lay the cards out and I look at them <laughs> yes. and I take Phoebe's palm. Yeah. And then I go. What do I do now? <laughs> uh, shuffle the deck. Okay, and then I shuffle the cards. Okay. Then what? What are you, you gotta pick? 
A card? Like three cards. Three cards. All right, I pick three cards. What are and they? it is the the four of coal. Okay. The, <laughs> the four of coal. <laughs> okay. Uh, the the seven of flame. What are my other two suits? Uh, you can you can invent them if you'd like. Oh, yeah, yeah, Ember you got to stay them. consistent. Yeah, you put four of coal. Uh, I got, let me write it. Also, you down. need to do seven of on flame. For Jack, Queen, and King. Just so you're aware. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, would, they'd probably be like Nitto King and Nitto Queen, and then like a, like a Mr. Mime as a No, player. no, no, no. It's the, the king is one. Charizard because of Xantha cards. Oh, <sighs> for sure. Go for it, bro. Um, <laughs> but you know this because there's a king? <laughs> the four of coal. Of course. Of Which course. One? It's just the king of just full on beast fire, right? Or is it something else? Yeah, that's the fire one. Okay. So the king of fire. Um, and those are the three those that I pulled three. for your fortune. <clears throat> um, and then I, I mix them up and I have them face down. Now you pick one. Okay. Oh. Should I? Sure. What are you going to do? All right. Two. You take the middle card. Yeah. All right. And you pulled the seven of fire. Okay. What does it mean? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is a new deck to me. <laughs> I've never used playing cards or tarot cards for that matter. Alright. But uh, that's if we find we out later. Find those Clefairy. That's your that's your fortune. You know, you can ask the Clefairy. Alright, while this weird <laughs> tarot card reading is going on with Seven of Flame being <laughs> Phoebe's fortune <laughs> forevermore. Yeah. Uh, Bentley's gonna look around to see if there are like doors or stairwells or yeah. if it's just kind of this room and totally. we should bounce. Go it's also it. like covering his face with his shirt because he doesn't want his allergies to flare up again. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, 19. Yeah, so there's like a big spiral staircase. Kind of leads to like an upper balcony. There's a couple rooms for people to stay in. There's an old like worn down piano. It's missing a couple of the keys. Um, and then there's like a bar structure with a couple broken stools and some mysteriously dark and dusty bottles behind you guys want to go up the spiral staircase? And as you say that to me, me, Crash, and Pendleton are in an office standoff, and we're all just got our guns on each other. We're just like, what is <laughs> Not paying attention to you at all. <laughs> They're yeah. just playing cowboys. Yeah. Uh, Pendleton's on board. Oh, yeah. He folds the sides of his survival head up, and he's like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm going to send out uh, Derby. <laughs> In okay. the saloon and Sick. tell Derby we're on the lookout for something to carry stuff in for him. Okay. Uh, so <clears throat> and ask him to go up the stairs and see how he handles it. <laughs> yeah. So there's see if no we can learn um, any Diglett anatomy. Oh. Yeah. So there's no dirt on the floor. So uh-huh. when you send Diglett out, he's just like a little mole and he's just a little foot. <laughs> <laughs> and he just sits down. And he's like, <laughs> Hey, Derby, we're looking for something to to hold stuff in for you. Like a bag or a tote or a tube, like he starts, Monty had. He starts hopping down. He he starts hopping behind the counter. You hear some like wrestling around. He doesn't have arms, so he's just knocking things over. Nice. <laughs> he's just he's using his head to just knock things. Let me know if you find anything. I'll help you. You hear like a bottle crash. You go. Know, Are you okay, Kirby? Right. He just hops that bag up behind the counter. Just, okay, yeah. Like slashes his jugular. <laughs> no, Derby! <laughs> Been out for 10 seconds. We took him to a saloon. Some moonshine fell on him. It's all over. Okay. Uh, yeah, so Derby's just investigating. He's looking around. Okay. Did you tell us you're looking for the bag? Huh? You're looking for a bag? You told us? I told. I just told Derby right now. I'm looking for oh. something for, for Derby to carry stuff in. Okay. You're looking for a bag? Um, anything. It could be a tube, a satchel, a fanny pack. Okay. I'm gonna go upstairs. Okay. Cool. Ah! We all just fall on the ground. That was not ready. Jesus. No one was ready. The microphone wasn't ready. I'm gonna follow Phoebe up the stairs now. Uh, because that was... Something? Yeah. CJ's playing playing cowboys again. Mm-hmm. You wanna go up and maybe split those two rooms, see what's inside each one? Yeah. You want left or right? Uh I'll go left. Cool. <laughs> that leaves me with right. <laughs> uh, so let's get some investigation checks from each of you and then are you just barging in or are you like No. I'm gonna do the like, typical Bentley uh, like just slowly. Not gonna open it or are you just I'm gonna slowly open it. And yeah. Open. 
With a 17. Okay. I'm gonna knock and be like, hello. Alright, so Phoebe, you see... Felix comes barreling up! <laughs> no, you see like a busted bed. Um, something that used to be like a lamp. It's just shattered in the corner. There's like an end table that's in some pretty stark disrepair. Um, there's an old painting on the wall, but it looks like it's been like torn down through the ages. Just like the actual fabric just hasn't been oh. kept up, so it's just ripped down and all the colors have faded off. Okay. Um, you don't find a whole lot of interesting stuff in your room. Bentley, however, you find a bed that is not in disrepair, but it's actually like very well made. It's just coated in a nice layer of dust. Mm-hmm. Um, the lamp in the Good room lovely. is still like... Just top on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! <laughs> oh my allergies! My allergies are terrible. <laughs> <like it. laughs> yeah, so your, uh, your room, there's like a, an old, like, kind of like a lantern similar to the one that you've already got. Um, that would be kind of struck with a match and, and lit to illuminate the chamber that you're in. Um, you also have kind of a old deteriorating painting sort of hung in there. Seems to be sort of the motif of the, the saloon. You do, however, notice kind of like a rucksack over in the corner behind the bed. Hmm. I'll go over and investigate the rucksack. Yeah, let's get a, another investigation check, because there are many, many pockets and pouches on here that you can find. So who can say? <laughs> who can say? A four. Okay. Um, yeah, you, you would probably just... I'll leave it up to you with a roll like that. Do you just upturn the knapsack and see what happens, or do you just carry it out to somebody else? I'll probably just grab it and carry it out of the room. Okay. Hey, Milo, I found a bag up here. Oh, sweet. Can we just said toss it down? Yes, please. And I throw it off the stairwell. <gasps> Dexterity check, please. There's a bomb inside. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, 13. Okay, um, so as you catch the bag, you hear a kind of like breaking glass sound. Um, and like, and like the bottom of the bag starts to kind of like drip. Darn it. Uh, I'm going to look inside and see what it was Let's in there. Let's get an investigation check. Uh, 19. Okay. Uh, there used to be um, some manner of, like, flask or canteen, kind of a glass structure in there. It's now just, like, completely shattered. Um, there is a Pokeball in there, sort of in the, like, miniature form. You know how they can, like, click the, the non-existent okay. button and it shrinks down for easy carrying? There's one kind of stored in there like that. Um, there is a booklet in there, kind of like a big notebook. Okay. Um, this is uh, McCoy on it. Oh. Can, I'm gonna, yeah. like, just leaf through it. Okay. Uh, I heard that crash, Milo. Is everything all right? Yeah, it's just some, some glass and trying to get stuff out of here before it gets wet. Well, sorry about that. So I'm right. grabbing the book first. Probably should have checked the bag before I threw it to you. Kind of like leafing through it and like yep. airing it out. Mm-hmm. Um, is it legible? Um, kind of in the in the way that like a doctor's prescription is legible, where like it's written <laughs> really fast okay. and like, kind of scrawled out, and a lot of the there's like ink stains that have kind of like seeped through it over time, and like okay. um, isn't you can catch. Little glimpses of, of like what should be in there, but most of what you're getting is like expedition day whatever, gotcha. and then like random scrawlings of just on stuff. on the beginning of it. Is there any like note of owner? Oh, like like this just, belongs to so and so kind of deal. No, it just like on the front. It, it, imagine like a notebook, kind of like yours, yeah, but like leather bound, uh-huh. and then just sort of like engraved in the front, just says McCoy. Okay. Um, I'll hang on to that, and then uh, I want to like air it out, and uh, I'm gonna pick up this Pokeball. Yeah. Can I make it bigger? Yeah. And then, can I like? do as if I was sending something out and see if anything happens, like... <laughs> yeah, do you, do you push the, yeah. the requisite buttons? Uh-huh. Excellent. <laughs> you hear a... and nothing happens. Okay. It is an unused... Sweet. Nice. Okay. 
Oh. I'm going to um, send out Howl. Okay. Um, and have him help me like dry it out. Okay. Yeah, just being near him, it's uh, he's very warm. He radiates a lot of heat. He starts to dry up some of the pages. Okay. And the bag. In the bag too. Yeah, that's what I meant more than the book. Cool. And then uh, I called Derby or hey Derby, let's see how this bag fits you. And I'd like kind of adjust the straps similar to how I attempted to with the Pidgeotto harness. And uh, yeah, can you roll for that again for hilarity's sake? Sure. Why? Because <laughs> you can't um, possibly do worse. <laughs> Why would you say that? What check is it? It's it's not hard. Animal handling. Yeah, twelve. Because it's your Pokemon, uh-huh. and Derby's just like, oh, cool, I'm getting a bag. He just kind of sits there. Um, the Pidgeotto was more difficult because it was like, no, are you yeah. messing with yeah. like, an official bird? Yeah. Like, you don't know. Like, go away. Yeah. This is um, federal business. Uh, so you you have a bit of an issue in that, again, Derby doesn't have, like, lens. He's just a little yeah. foots. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you try to, like, adjust the straps, they just go <laughs> and fall off, and he's just like, so I'm gonna um, take I'm gonna take him outside real quick, guys. Okay. Uh, just yell if you need anything. All right. Well, there's not much up here anyway. All I found was the bag. So if we wanna maybe look into another one of those buildings, I'd be fine with that. What does the bag look like? I just wanna check the even though everything's in disarray, the end table. Okay. You're like investigating the, the yeah a Bible and a map. Nice. <laughs> Taking <laughs> both. <laughs> <laughs> Fourteen. Okay, um, you not a not a Bible, but closer to a map than you might have realized. It's an old, like really old, uh, like tourist guide to Xantha. Hmm. Oh. From like if if you guys were playing in like nineteen ninety, it's from like nineteen sixty five. So it's like it it predates all of you by like a number of decades. Guys, I found a tourist guide map. What does it say? What was this building? Do you do you investigate your yes. <laughs> your new your yes. new booklet? Um, this used to be Max Tavern. Max. M A C apostrophe S. Um, Max was the place to be before Javier opened his little spot. Okay. Interesting. Say anything else about the town? Um, yeah, if you if you keep looking, it'll it'll yeah. kind of depict like, hey, there was there's the courthouse down the road from Max Tavern. Like, yeah. you can go <clears throat> check it out in there. It it'll go into detail about like if if anything should happen to you while you're here. Like, the courthouse is a safe structure. It's a place to go. It's kind of the the central focus of the town. Um, there is no mention of a Soul Forge. Which is where the gym is now. Okay. There's no mention of that. Ironbreaker Mines is not mentioned. Mm. Um, this it is literally like, hey, here's our little shanty town that we built, and there's kind of a mine down the road. Check us out. So does it say what that chain building was? Um, not by that name, but it oh. will say like if you're in need of produce, you can head across the street. There is a general store. Okay. Rotted onions. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what does the last building say, Phoebe? It says it used to be a general store. All right, well, maybe we could head over there. From what you've heard from Javier, this is like... This booklet would be before any kind of occupation of Xantha. So that would, it would predate like the medical supply building, mm-hmm. any kind of Pokemon Center, any of the... The rushed to build houses, like the whole neighborhood district that Arthur's house yeah. is in, none of that would have been here because there was no need right. for like an outpost okay. this far north. So it's basically. Right, guys, I can't be a hundred percent sure. This is very old, but I think it's a general story. I'm not playing. <laughs> I can hear you. I can hear you just fine. I'm uh, still playing. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should uh, go check I mean, out the other buildings. All right. So long as we, because it looks like the only thing on this map is the courthouse, the building we're in, and then the two others. Yeah. <laughs> From CJ's unconscious body rises a ghastly. Not again! <laughs> no. No. <God. laughs> no. All right. Well, Bentley will. That's where I would need the Bible. 
Sorry, Chris Kapowski. <laughs> Get out of here, ghost. All right, I'll head back down the stairs. Okay, yeah. And you are outside with with a derby. Yes. Derby. Uh, we're running a couple tests of him just like going fast and just pulling the strap because if like his bottom half is in the ground and his top half is not, he can like pull the strap and just like try to maneuver and like it's having like him go top his head. having him go like underground and like come back up and see if he loses it or just, okay. like if he's able to use it as a carrier yeah. device. He loses it the first couple times and he'll like resurface and be like. <laughs> And pop up with it. Um, and to answer your earlier question, it looks like the picture that you have for Derby. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. Because it didn't used to, but then you're like, maybe we could just find it. So, yes. You find it. it's like kind of old and tattered. Um, it's in substantial disrepair, but it, it used to be it's like fashionable for its time. From like the 60s, it would have been like prime. Um, I'm gonna run back in and see if there's a, an equally 60s hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, go ahead and make an investigation check. Behind the bar. Seven. There is a sort of coat rack, like right as you walk in. It's, it's cracked in the middle, um, but from the top there is like a small derby <laughs> hat. Pick it up and it put it on his little round head. Yep, it just goes poop. Fits perfectly. Oh my goodness. Look at this adorable dick right <laughs> It's official. Derby, you're too cute. He kind of like uses his little nose and kind of like lifts the <clears throat> the bag over his, his head and he's all excited. He's like, I got it. And he starts walking and he just hops out of the strap. <laughs> he keeps going. He's all proud of himself. <laughs> All right, so I'll walk back outside the building, yeah. meet up with Derby. That's why Derby is an adorable sight to behold. Now. Hey, sweet hat, Derby. Where'd you where'd you find that, Mila? It was on the coat rack right inside. Oh, it's not nice. like the cutest diglet you've ever seen. I mean, yes. It's got a sweet hat. Yeah. Now that I can hear that everybody's outside, I like open my eyes and I look around. <laughs> <laughs> crashes still <laughs> also hanged down. I like that we've just ignored you the entire time. <laughs> Crash is still laying down. Pendleton's kind of like sitting up. He's using his, his little stick to poke around at some of the things behind the bar. Just a three-man standoff, <laughs> the shouting triple death, and then lying there faking <laughs> it while everybody else is looking around. <laughs> uh, when I get up, I see Pendleton doing that. I'm like, you seen anything? You, you find anything cool? He, he, there's like a there's like a mason jar kind of deal, and there's a little little metal hook on the top, and he's trying to like fish it with the. I can get that for you. <laughs> is it like too high for him? But I can yeah, reach it. Yeah. Oh. He's like about to fish it, and you pick it up, and he goes. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, in, uh, do you like, do you dust off the bottle a little? Yeah. Yeah. It, I'd be like, what is it? It looks like it used to be a pickle jar. Oh. Um, and there's still like a couple shrivels shapes in there, <laughs> yeah. sort of floating in this horribly dark, stanky liquid. Okay. I'm just gonna hand it to him. Okay. He picks up. He goes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> And he just reseals it, and you can see his face is just green. He's like, "Oh!" <laughs> you should totally throw that against the wall. He kind of he looks at you and he goes, "No." Uh, and he puts yeah, it in his pack. Okay. <laughs> God, he kept it. All right. Well, then I'm gonna start to walk back okay. out and follow everyone. Okay. Um, on the way out the door, he kind of like regains his composure. And then as he's walking, he's like, <laughs> "Why does he smelling it? salts for him?" <laughs> just, it just reason. smells so terrible. I'm into it. What the it's, hell? Uh, you, know, you know what they say about pickles? The worse they smell, the better they taste. Is that a thing? Yeah. I don't like pickles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like pickles. So he's 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 weighing his options. He's like, if it's this bad, like it's gotta it's be good. It's probably gonna be <laughs> gross. Not if he's turning green. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a Final Fantasy IX reference. Yes, it was. Mm-hmm. Not uh, a real life one. Okay, I see. <laughs> the pickles? Yeah. Oh, okay, I was like, yeah, I've never ever like, heard that really from fun. anyone no. ever. No. So the, the crew re, uh, makes their way back out to the, the Xantha streets. 
Derby's got a little hat on. Do we want to go in the... Pendleton's got some pickles. Building with the chain hanging down? Yeah. Why not? All right. You want to lead the way again, CJ? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just a grocery store, right? As far as we know, that was decades yeah. ago. Yeah. If, if, if he's caught up, I'm going to call back my Pokemon. Okay. I'm going to send out Violet and have her... Cause she's she's been pumped in like the gym <clears throat> battle. She's on fire. Yeah, she's loving it. I'm gonna have her out. Um, and because I'm assuming it looks like it might be dark in there, she can get some energy and, mm-hmm. and light it up. Yeah, for it us. looks it's a uh, it looks pretty dimly lit as well. So you have Violet lead yeah. the way. Violet, power up. Dear Kamehameha. She gets very uh, very brightly glowing. <laughs> Slide into the building. And. Uh, and awesome. and comet punch the door. Oh wow! Okay. Go ahead and, go ahead and roll. Here we go. Um, she's gonna punch it three times. Woo. Thrice. Just roll. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, she's not gonna miss a door. <laughs> door's not going anywhere. Nine oh, damage oh, to the door. That yeah. door's so dead. Violet comes up with all the arms and she goes. There. Oh, nice. Ultimate punch. Nice. Um, and the door just goes. Plus one. Plus one. Just flying into the the back of the room, and you just hear this massive crash as it like lands into an aisle of something. It just. <laughs> what if that was something good? It just falls down. Well, it's crushed now forever. It was expired. That was yeah. rad, Milo. Thank you. I appreciate. Yeah. It. Good. Good work, Bob. Um, do you guys make your way inside? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can I get a marching order? Oh, Violet's first. I'll follow behind her. Okay. Oh, I'll be behind Milo. <clears throat> I'll follow Phoebe's. Cool. Bringing up the rear is Bentley. <laughs> Bentley's like, <laughs> yeah, going for the Yeah, just hanging back. The, the cordyceps. The, the dust is not <clears throat> a good thing for Bentley. Yeah, totally fair. Uh, okay, so Violet uh, would be the first to notice, but Milo, you would be the second. Um, eating a lot of the like rotten produce are a bunch of like very large purple rats. Oh, oh dang! Cool. They're doing some munching. Nice. They're like, and they got like big old teeth, and they look back and you're like. Okay, these are not friendly rats. And then they go back to like eating their the nasty rotted produce. Cool. Oh, uh, how many are there? There's, that you can see, there's like six. Dang. They're just all throughout the the room that you're in. It's just one big room. Mm-hmm. Okay. It, it basically looks like an old timey grocery store with like no refrigeration. Okay. It would just be like old boxes of things on the shelf that are long since <coughs> dis- like <coughs> disgusting. But the the rats are loving it. Um, it's a mansion. I think some of this would make good compost. Or you got a garden? Food. I don't. My parents do. Oh. Well, if you wanted to grow berries, maybe you could take some with you, but it would, it would stink a lot. Yeah. Maybe if I find a, a jar or something to put it in. Like a pickle oh. jar? <laughs> Pendleton will produce his pickle, pickle jar to you. Like, dig for a garden, but oh. there, we're not settling down. Yeah, we're not, we're not settling. That's what I was going to say. We're going to settle down in this general store. I mean, we've been here long enough. We basically <laughs> live here. <laughs> Uh, We're honorary citizens of Santa. I want to look for anything that is <laughs> like n- new, as new as it could be, like the least damaged. Oh, like the least old food. Not even food. Like, okay. Like a magazine or a trinket doodad. Okay. Uh, make an investigation check, and then how willing or how close are you willing to get to the rats? Um, are you like as close as is necessary? Violet's got my back, or are you like they they're just minding their own business? They're, they're I'm munching. assuming I'm assuming I'm not gonna encroach on the stuff they're eating. Okay. So I mean I'm I'd get within like I guess five feet, but not gonna be like reaching in near them. Hey guys, y'all have rabies? Seven. Seven. Um, Does anyone here have rabies? <laughs> yeah, you're a little off put by all the. The giant rats, and you're kind of trying more to not encroach on their space than you are to like Looking. find what you're looking for. <clears throat> um, but you do see like a cash register behind the Ooh. the counter. Um, it looks like it's already been like cleaned out. Like whoever closed this down, like obviously took their stuff with them. Um, but for the most part, everything in here, like there's probably like 
one or two boxes of like cigarettes on the back that are like super old and real nasty that the rats just haven't messed with yet. But pretty much everything else in here used to be edible and is now just fuel for the, the rat colony that's moved in. Uh, Bentley wants to look to see if there's like a like a den where the ratatas are living. Oh, they're everywhere. There's like three or four different like massive holes that are like upturned aisle segments that just lead down into the grounds. Like the whole time you guys have been in here, the rats have been coming up, grabbing stuff, eating a little bit, and then bringing the rest down into the hole. You guys want to challenge them to a race? They've got a leap. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that I can race, I'd, I'd da- be down for that. Uh, or we, uh, I'll challenge them to fight. I was going to say if there was enough food, we could have a food eating contest with the ratatas. Oh. oh. All the food is rotten, yeah. Mila. Why would Crash. you do that? Crash immediately was, looks at you and goes, what? If there was food, that was... <laughs> Crash likes that idea regardless. Oh. He's on board. Crash is like, how many rats can I eat before the rats Yes, know exactly, talking? that's what he's like. <laughs> uh, hey, Ratatat. Uh, well, we were thinking we could race little, little, uh, four, four v four relay race, and if you guys win, we can knock some of the food off of these higher shelves for you. But if we win, you let us explore the store, and we won't bother you, you won't bother us. How does that sound? Uh, go ahead and roll initiative. All right. Initiative? Mm-hmm. Okay. For uh, your trainers. Because uh, unless, trainers. unless your guys are out. Why, why well, I mean, Crash is out. Yeah, so Crash and Violet are out, and then um, everybody the else is... Yeah. Sending out boys and Because it's... No, it's, we don't, they're not out. Oh. No, it's... Because it's, it's y'all. <laughs> yeah. No, I just wanted to race! I just wanted to race! The rats don't care, fam. They want to eat you. They're hungry. You're alive. Crash is psyched. Billy, you're kind of like communing with a, a little hobble of like three rats. Um, and while you were sort of talking to them, they've been, they've been making their way around the store to like kind of box you guys in. Oh, God. And they start to just encroach. Just um, on me or on the, the group? whole the whole the whole crew? <sighs> kind of like the how many are there total? Uh, that you can see currently <clears throat> seven. Okay, it's terrifying. Uh, Milo, the first one's gonna try to bite you on the butt. That's the natural <laughs> one. <laughs> Not this butt. He, hit he it bites butt. his own yeah. arm. I'm scared. <laughs> like, These butts of steel. <laughs> <laughs> Milo flexes. Just, yeah. His ass. <laughs> Weird, weird flex, but okay. <laughs> uh, oh, Milo, you are up next. Okay. You have in your possession an action and a bonus action that you could use to throw out your squads. Um, the way. I am not. Because I think we can handle it with like what we've got. I think we could all use one and take these guys down. Oh. Okay. I'm not concerned. That's I'm not going to send out my whole team. Oh, I see. Bro, I watched Crash take down three outdoor. Yeah, and I was just like seven rats. I after scared. the recap we just had in the gym. Uh, All right. I ain't scared. That's yeah. fair. Okay. Uh, I am, however, going to look around for the meatiest looking item that is near me. Excellent. Meaty? Make a perception. Literally animal. flesh. Whatever. Juiciest. Whatever adjective you want to use. Living or non living? I like meaty. Uh, 11. Living or non living? Non living? Okay. Although, if you were looking for like. Crash. <laughs> I'm the meanest living thing. Neil oh. picks up one of the rats, the rat that tried to bite you in the butt. Yeah. Ah! Okay. Um, so you don't find anything meaty. Okay. You do find like rotted veg. Okay. It's kind of like sat next to you. Uh, can I pick oh, it up? On the shelves. Sure, it's gross. Uh, that's fine. Can it's I use. Smells. Can I use my animal handling to try to give it to the one that tried to bite me? Um, Do the Dr. Malcolm flare. I want to make him sit for it. Let's see if I can get him to sit for Let's it. Let's get a Pokemon handling at disadvantage. He's not domesticated. Wow. He but he knows that Milo has you. buns of steel. Seven. He doesn't have to listen to you. Ten. Ten? Um, for a brief second, it kind of like <laughs> follows your head and starts to sit down. And one of the other rats goes... <laughs> and it kind of goes, oh, yeah, you're right, we're fighting. I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. food. <laughs> 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 um, did you want to move anywhere? No. Uh, crash. Uh, seeing crash, that these rats already, but yeah, seeing that these rats are hissing a lot, he's gonna hiss back. Um, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, just Pendle- did Pendleton roll in? Because Pendleton's oh, no, out. Oh no, he right? did. He is out. 
I forgot to do that. Vandleton's out. That's why his cards are. Yeah, Van. Nine. Nine? Okay. Isn't that like perfectly fitting in with what the order is? Or? Pretty good. Yeah, that is actually totally fine. It doesn't affect anything at all. Well done. Uh, all right, Crash. Um, Crash, you go at the same time as one of the rats. Cool. So that rat like runs so, up on you. Oh, yeah, well, just kill that one. Yeah, as he's doing that, he's gonna just, <laughs> just, just try to bite it. Kill that one. <laughs> he's just gonna bite it. Cool. Try to bite down right on his face. Get him. Yeah, that's gonna hit him. That's a 19. Uh, misses. No, <laughs> yes, yeah. my ass and <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, These rats are steel plated? Four. Yeah, Pokeball go. Eight. Eleven. Okay. Um, it's still up. What? Okay. Uh, and it Good for bites him. you right the heck back. How does a 16 sound to Crash? Yeah, it hits him. Alright, Crash. You take four points of piercing damage, and I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, snap. Oh, I'll get rabies. Alright. <laughs> Imagine crash with rabies. Terrifying. Natural 20. Oh, yeah, you're fine. <laughs> you know what we need. You watch as crash starts to slow down for a second and then just goes, ah, ah, and the poison, like, in his leg just goes, <laughs> just goes right, right back out. It's like, nope, never mind, I'm scared. See you later. Uh, after crash and that rat is another rat, um, the other rat runs up to Pendleton and is, like, curious because he's got sticky honey all over his hands. Tries to bite him in the face. That's a one. Um, comes in and goes, and Pendleton just cracks out the stick, and he just bites into the stick, and he almost like bites it in half, and Pendleton's like, get off, it's my stick. Hey, man, not nice. It's mine, dude. Pendleton is just like a Jedi master. It's great. All right, Violet. Violet, is is she close enough to a rat to punch him? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So they're, she'll, they're all around. She'll focus punch energy me. and try to punch him. Cool. Um, you are giving her advantage as Milo. Oh, sick. She, I'm assuming she's close to you. That's five punches. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Uh-oh. Son. Uh-oh. She's a beast right now. Yeah. It's all five. Yeah. It's okay. all five. Holy <laughs> crap, bro. Fifteen damage. Yeah. Oh, um, mama. So one of the rats uh, just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> the other just goes... <laughs> bam! And it's just... <laughs> purple mist. Uh, uh, Violet, you are an absolute beat vessel. Um, you Thanos that rat. So, um, Pendleton, or no, but there is a rat right in front of him that just bit onto his stick and he's very upset. Uh, yeah, he's pissed, so he's gonna one two him off of the stick. Cool. A one and two punch! That is a 16. Hits. So. Oh! And that's a lot more. Yes. So that's a D6 and a D8. So D6 coming in. Boom. That's a one. Thanks. Trash. D8. A two. Oh, also a one. one. Yeah. Crap. Yikes. So two damage it's total. Be literally a one, two. Um, Come on, Pendy boy. It's been it's a like while since Pendleton's been, like been in like a full on fight. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so Pendleton uh, claws the rat in the face and it tries to bite him again and he just goes. Bad. Well, Not enough to like do damage, but he's like, get off. Respect. Bop. Respect the stick, bro. Um, Picturing the ben- Bentley. Uh... <sighs> yeah, Bentley is gonna throw out Evan Rude and Nipsey. Cool. Seeing the rats. Go them. Are not to be trifled with. Yeah. So I'll do that on my turn. Things a bit feisty. So an 8 for Nipsey and an 18 for Evan Rude. And then I'll do the, the same thing as Milo with my bonus. 18 for Evan Rude? Yeah. Jesus. His plus 4 decks. It is. It's not enough, bro. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm gonna also look around, like, am I, if I'm near shelves, if I could grab something at, like, head height to, like, hold and distract the ratataz and potentially chuck it into a corner so they go after the food and not me. Interesting. So what should I roll for that? Or can I just do that? Okay. Investigate. Oh, so close. Ten. Okay. It was okay. on, it was on a net 20. Yeah, so you kind of stick your hand up to a nearby shelf and you land on... Something that feels like it used to be a tomato. Kind of skeeches in your hand. Skeeches. Oh, God. Okay, throw it away. I immediately, like, recoil and, like, chuck it across the room. Okay. Um, two of the rats notice, and they're like, <laughs> they seem distracted. Way to go, Bentley. Whoop. Proud of you, fam. Uh, the one that tried to bite Pendleton is up there. This one. Uh, there is 
currently one of the rats that you kind of like for the the tomat. He's like, and he runs. He just runs after. Oh, nice. He runs away. We can distract it with food. Uh, food fight. Phoebe. Yeah. <laughs> you take uh, a tomato and smash its face. And for a Shirley and Boys and Berry. Okay. That is Dang. a 19 for Shirley. Nice. And a 5 for Boys and Berry. A 5? Yep. Oh, okay. Actually, that would be 18 technically for. For sure. That's <laughs> really oh, dice we'll see that matters. 18 for Shirley. 18 for Shirley. Um, after that, do you do anything else? Yeah. Throw out I'm your gonna, squad. I'm going to pull out two anchors and be like, get out of here, rats! <laughs> threatening them with your climbing gear? <laughs> I'm just I holding them. I will impale you with this hook for when they come at me. I can. When did you yeah. get anchors? She bought them from yeah. Shay. She, she did. bought climbing gear. Oh, damn, I don't so that's, that. When you asked me that question, I was like, should we get something? <laughs> no, no recollection. <laughs> yeah. um, after uh, Phoebe is uh, another rat that does indeed try to bite Phoebe on the ankles. Get out of here! Do I have advantage with my anchors? Uh, you, no, you're being attacked. Oh. You're being attacked. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right, right, let's roll the hit here. <laughs> no. no! Suck it, rat! <laughs> oh, the rat is trying to bite you. Phoebe, what is your dexterity modifier? Uh, plus one. Plus one. Okay, this guy exactly hits you. Get out of here, I got my anchors. Um, Phoebe, uh, you take three points of piercing damage. All right, well, I don't know what my health is, so... Just bear in mind, you've taken three points of damage. Uh, and then Phoebe, Hot once brain. again, um, classic Phoebe. Uh, we're going to need a constitution save from you. Can uh, resist the poison. Not again! Can resist! Come on, Phoebes! Oh, resist! Um, 14. You succeed. Yay! You are not uh, poisoned by the mysterious poison. Uh, CJ, we're, on, we're down to initiative three. I just need well, anger. Well, freeze it. Uh, with a rock. What's the current situation around me? Uh, your current status, you've got Crash going like heckin' nuts at, at one of the rats. Pendleton's fighting another one, and there's a like a third rat kind of moving. Looks like it's gonna start flanking Crash. Oh, I'm gonna go uh, try to kick that rat. Sick. Yep. Uh, go ahead and see if you hit. So there were seven, and one of them got distracted by the gross thing that Bentley threw. There's seven that you can see currently. You can hear the- lots more. Do I get to oh. add anything to that? Oh, no. Oh, what'd you get? 15. Yeah, you don't even need okay, to. Okay, cool. So what should I do? Uh, what is your strength modifier? Plus one. Plus one. Um, you can roll a d4 and add one. Because you're basically you're, running, you're booting him in the face. Five. Five? 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 Cool. Get away from these. Okay. I'm going to try to kick him away from being like yeah. flanking crash. Just like, kick him. He, yeah, you, you bap him uh, pretty far away. away. Um, and as he kind of like lands on his back, do you do anything else? Um, I'm going to like move to be at like Crash's back and like yell at Pendleton to follow me. Cool. I like it. Um, after that, it's the rat that you kicked. Um, he kind of staggers to his feet and he's like, what the heck, bro? Um, he runs up, he tries to bite you in the foot. Bring it on. Uh, oh. He sinks his teeth very much into your shoes. Oh no. Catches nothing by him. Nice. And you're just like, woo, baby. Suck it, stupid rat. <laughs> Um, back to the top of the order is yet another rat's gonna try to bite at Milo. Not these bugs. Uh, no, it's a fort. <laughs> uh, <they're... laughs> um, not quite. Uh, Milo, do you want to do anything on your turn? Uh, I want to do two quick things. First okay. thing I want to do is look at all the rats and see if there's any one that stands out as being like a leader or being let's, unique in any way. Yeah, let's get an insight check from Take down the leader! A nine, ten. Take back to me. Um, <laughs> the so that you don't notice like a a leader, mm-hmm. uh, but they all seem to be like rallying and thinking almost together. They're working like as a group. I right. find. I want to yell at my friends here. Uh, I mean, I can hear a lot more coming, um, and I don't really think there's anything we want here. Should we just like cut and run and leave them their their thing? Because yeah. I'm cool with that! <laughs> or do we want to sit here for three hours? Let's get out of here before rats. Phoebe gets poisoned again. 
I'm always up for a battle, but if you guys want to run, I'm with you. Okay. It's up to you, Milo. Do you I, run? I think I think we'll initiate a run because okay. poison has never been good for us in any capacity, and we don't know how many more there could be. And yeah. nobody's poisoned yet. Yes. Do you run? Yes. Is there a okay. way for us to get out? Yeah, there's, the, the there's the door that you came through. Oh, I thought they had a surrounded. Um, well, Violet like missed it once. So oh, for, for the <laughs> time being, you've got like, to a brief window. Guts? <laughs> Violet gave <Awesome. gave> us an <laughs> opening. <laughs> it's Fantastic. more of a fine mist than guts, but yeah. So Mila, you make your way outside. You're out of initiative, but <laughs> sweet. Um, next up is Shirley. Shirley, now that you've hit the floor, it would take you like six rounds to get to the door. Oh god! Just call her back on your turn. Okay. <laughs> just have her try to get yeah. anything that's near you, or she can just rock throw and crush another rat. <laughs> Maybe ooh, ooh, ooh. she or can struggle bug. Did you rock throw a, a hole that they're coming from? Oh. Plug it up. Hole? Yeah, like kind of from like all the little hobbles. Oh okay. 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 You yeah. can throw like an eye. Notice that I'll more are coming that. out. I'll have Not her, so far. Okay. But I'll have her aim a rock case. throw yeah. at, at the... Okay. Plug that hole! Yeah, she's probably throwing like an aisle. <laughs> Plug that butt. Seven! Yeah. Oh. So it's a good toss. Like, she hits her mark, and then the aisle that she threw just, like, crumbles. Right. So it's, like, kind of blocking. It's difficult to rain, but it's not, like, sealed. Watch out, Charlie. Don't let them bite your noodles. Uh... Evan Rude. Evan Rude, grab Nipsey and... Dust the spores over the rats while you fly out. So I'll have Evan Reed fly down, pick up Nipsey, and then fly like over the rats. Okay. And then I'll, I guess, wait for Nipsey's turn to drop spores on the rats as they like kind of circle around and fly out the building. Cool. Um, so if, yeah, I'll say if Evan Reed's going to take Nipsey out of the building, um, which Evan Reed is fast enough to do, uh, we'll just hit that's a nine and an eleven. Crop dust of Nipsey. For for Nipsey's. Yeah, so neither of those work. Yeah, so roll two so four. The one first, for the first one for the second. The first one is raged. Sick. Do you know what all these things are? The right second one is yeah. The second one is poisoned. Beautiful. What is two and three? Stun and sleep. Nice. It's called cool. stun is essentially like Ooh. paralyzed for mm-hmm. Pokemon terms. Um, uh, so after Evan Rude uh, flies Nipsey out there, they're leaving, right? Yes. Going out the door. Evan Rude and Nipsey are out of an issue. Having crop dusted the Ratataz. Yeah. Uh, Crash, the, the one that you've been fighting uh, is not looking so hot. After a, a bunch of spores go in its nose. And he's currently engaged with it, so if he tries to run, it's going to bite him, right? Okay, he's gonna try to finish it. Go for it. Finish it. Crunch him. Bite coming in. Bite him. Crunch him. Eighteen. Reduce him to ash. <laughs> Jeez. Six. Oh, yeah. See you later. Ten. Thirteen. He's gone. All right. He uh, yeah. Crash like <laughs> munches him. He just. Does right. Crash finish him off? Like, does he eat him? Oh, he bites his head off. Okay. And, and then he just drops it. it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Seeing that it like tried to poison him and that the poison came out of his leg, he's not yeah. he's not super stupid. He's gonna be like, okay, maybe I should eat that. Okay, so he drop it. Monches the head off and then spits it out. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, are, are there any from yeah, his he's... perspective? He would then turn and look at me, who's right behind him, and Pendleton, and be like, are there any around him? Uh, there is currently the one that's engaged with Pendleton. Otherwise, okay. like, there's nothing. There's no immediate threat to. Crash or you or Pendleton other okay. than that one. Then Crash, I'm, I would yell at Crash to run, and he would look at me and like barrel towards Pendleton. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not listen to me. Yeah. Be okay. like, no, you guys are still fighting. I'm still fighting. Okay. So he runs up and uh, allows for Pendleton to do some flanking. Um, one of the other rats is gonna try to bite Violet. Scoop. Nope. These rats that suck at fighting. Yeah. Sweet. That's a free. Cool. Um, it just it munches up and Violet's like, no, <laughs> sit yourself. Um, after that, it's Violet. Okay. You've got one that's like right in front yeah, of you. Yeah, she's gonna try to punch him. Dust him. Punch him. For three oh. comet punches. Nice. Not an advantage this time though, it's gonna suck. And an 11. Yikes. You get one hit. Dang it. For two damage. Hey-oh. <laughs> Sick, dude. 
Yeah, Violet uh, goes for three big punches, like full-on haymakers. And the, the rat's like, nope, and then just jumps right into the second and gets clocked out of the way of the food. Um, does Violet move? Or is she just hanging out? Um, is she going to take an attack if she moves? Um, potentially. Um, it would attempt to launch her, yes. I'll like. stay. <laughs> uh, it's Pendleton's turn, then. Pendleton, you've got a, a rat right in front of you. You only hit him for two damage. Yeah, he's going to... He's going to... Definitely go for the big stick. Does he have, does he have advantage? He has advantage. And he's definitely going for that bonus. Okay. Because he's flanking. Yeah. Bale. Oh, that's probably it right there. <laughs> 14. 14 it is. Cool. Uh, so, yeah, let's get a d12 damage from you. Plus yeah. 10, uh, bro. Yeah. D12 plus 10. Red what? Uh, so that's 13. 13. Um, oddly enough, the rat is still up. Wow. Uh, but um, Pendleton. My close good friend. Charisma check. I need a charisma saving throw from you, my friend. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Hello. Charisma. You're fine. He's 18. He is barely fine. What is what does this even mean? It's one of the reasons why I wanted to know. <laughs> no, kid. Carry on. It's uh, Bentley's turn. All right. As Pendleton brings down the big stick on top of the rat, like cracks its skull. It's bleeding everywhere. Um, you watch as like. The happy-go-lucky Pendleton is not on his face, and then he kind of snaps back and goes like, Ooh. Uh, Next. And he kind of like goes back into a defensive stance. Now I see. Hmm. That's a little scary. All right, Bentley. Well, now we know. Maybe call him back. Now we know. Uh -oh. now we know. All right, seeing that and that Heavenroot and Nipsey have flown out the door, and there's one more rat close to me, Bentley will again try and grab something off the shelf and throw it to distract it. Yeah. So Grab another. Investigation. Tomato. Yeah. Another tomato. Thirteen. Yeah. You grab what appears to be like a really old, like piece of citrus. Okay. So I'll take that and chuck it, and then just turn tail and run. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's let's see. Um, yeah. The one nearest to you is like, Ooh, and watches the citrus go, and it's like that's juicier than your legs because you're a squatty little. Yeah, you got me, scrawny. Get out of here. Bye, guys. Yes. Yeah. Um, so now it's the one that's fighting Pendleton's gonna try to bite him and. And we'll see how that goes. Bentley, you are out of initiative, my friend. You are you're safe. Um, this one does strike Pendleton. Um, Pendleton takes two points of damage, and then let me pull up his, his stats. Um, we need a constitution save from Pendleton. Natural 20. Ew! Yeah, it's fine. Um, the poison just goes away. It has no effect. Like, cool. Pendleton's probably been bit, like, a dozen times before, and he's like, I'm immune. I ain't scared. This doesn't matter. Just rub me. some honey on it. <laughs> Get bit by rats? Honey. Who cares? <laughs> um, Boysenberry, welcome to the fight. Yeah! Um, Show them what you can do. Boysenberry pie. Can Boysenberry hype me? Is yeah, he, he, yeah he, can, okay. he can assist you. He's gonna, he's gonna hype me up. And then... It just shows you like proper fighting form. <laughs> yeah, <you're dead. laughs> um, and then he's gonna try to fake out this stupid rat that tried to. No, oh. he's gonna tackle it and try to grapple the rat that just tried to just launch me. Yeah, tackle him. So that's oh, yeah. unnatural twenty. Yeah, yo, yeah. Zal do. Oh. That's oh, that's wrong dice. But four. A heavy yeah, I thought you were gonna like try to redact it. Is that okay. heavy no, four and then um Yeah and then it an attempt to the, grapple. Yeah, so you make a strike check as uh boys okay. excuse me, good heavens. <laughs> boys and strength. Strength Is it higher 14. than a six? <laughs> Fourteen. Yeah, you grapple the rat. Yeah <laughs> Get grabbed. Okay. Yeah, so Boys and Barry just leaps into action and is like Got this friend. Yeah! <laughs> tackles, tackles into the rat. He's got it like a full Nelson. He's like, no! Fly, you fool! <laughs> um, after Boysenberry goes Phoebe with advantage. Okay, while the while the rats tackle, grapple, mm -hmm. and tackled Phoebe. <laughs> <laughs> Grappled. She's gonna. Um, Turn tail. <laughs> Yeah. Boysenberry's buying you time. She's gonna run. 
Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, I want to call back uh, Shirley. Cool. I was a little bit worried. Good save. I was like, oh. Okay. You call back Shirley and you and you run. Yeah, and I run. And I yell, boys and Mary, run! <laughs> and he's like, how? <laughs> <laughs> I can't bring him with me! Thank you, but run! I can't leave him behind! <laughs> Thank um, you for saving me. <laughs> after Boysenberry and Phoebe, there's a there's yet another rat that's gonna run over and see that Boysenberry is becoming a problem and try to munch him. Get out of here. That's a natural twenty. Oh, you no. take eight points of piercing damage, oh, Boysenberry. Snap. And Boysenberry, I need a Constitution saving throw from you at disadvantage. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Bibi, no. Oh, no. So nine. Bibi, <laughs> your strength score goes down by one. Oh. Okay. Is that permanent? You'll find out. Get the fuck out of here. For real. Relative goes for a munchy crunch. Um, so all you need to know is that your strength score is currently 13. Which means you have one lower to hit. Mm-hmm. Um, and after that one bites you, it's CJ. I'm going to move up to both Crash and Pendleton, and I'm going to try to kick the rat in the head where okay. I can see that it's already in yeah. So, CJ, you're flanking, so you have advantage on your kick okay. into this thing's head. Um, and if you hit, it will die. Well, how about that? <laughs> Yikes. Oh, wow. That's not good. No, you you miss and it lives. Okay. Um, that's that's not good. Um, there's now uh, one final rat that's been scrapping with Violet for a little while. It's another natural one. Violet is untouchable this time. <laughs> um, the the raging rat that was kind of pseudo engaged with Bentley is now just like. Oh, he goes after the one that's been munching on Pendleton. Oh, that guy's probably dead. Uh, and misses. Oh, snap! Just <laughs> goes, ah! and the other rat's like, ah! I'm being attacked on all sides! The rat attack with the cracked skull is just somehow dodging everything. <laughs> For real. <laughs> he's probably like, just like, oh, oh <laughs> my <laughs> gosh. Uh, crash. Uh, he's going to uh, try to finish the dying rat. Get it. Go, Crash! Wow. wow. He's flanking. Wow. Thank God he is Ash. flanking. <laughs> that's 20. Reduce him to ash. <laughs> I mean, that's going to happen, right? Reduce him to ash. There it is. There it is. There he goes. He's gone. 15 damage. Kill uh, count. All right. And Good with fight. that, he's going to look at both CJ and Pendleton and run out the building. Crash, you are a free boy. Rat that shall henceforth and forever longer be known as 16. Um, goes after... Oh, this is the one that's fighting uh, Boysenberry. He tries to munch you, but he can't quite reach you. That's so right. we'll see how he does. That's a three. Yeah. Get out of here. He, he reaches back to try to bite, and Boysenberry's like, Nyah! Nyah! <laughs> Nyah! <laughs> Nyah! Um, Violet. Um, do you flee? Right. Huh? Do you flee? Where are you standing? Isn't there? there still one that she was fighting? She didn't kill it. She only did two damage yeah. to it. It's right in front of her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I am going to fly away from this one okay. and try to go assist Boysenberry, who's being doubled up on yeah. and grappling. Um, the what? which other one is the it rat doing? that you're flying away from gets a twelve to hit you. That's exactly enough. Uh, you take four points of piercing damage. Okay, and Violet needs to make a Constitution save. That sucks. Boop. An eleven. Uh, you, my close good friend, your strength score goes down by one. Okay. That's not a seven. I took how much damage? Uh, four. Okay. Yeah. So I missed. I'm trying to help. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm going to try to punch, comet punch the one that Tyrog is holding. Oh, yeah, you have advantage. Yeah, I know. Because he's fine. being <laughs> held. <laughs> That's why There's a method to the method. Two punches. Oh, boy. Six. Here we go. Big Give him the old one, too. They're vibrant. Big ones. Get it in there. Three damage. Three. He's, he's uh, still up. Still up and still fighting. I tried. Uh, but Violet just punches him in the gut. And he's like... <laughs> Some WWE action. And boys are very like scoops a leg over and starts like crushing them further. Noise. Um so that's Violet. It's uh Pendleton. Pendleton, the immediate threat to you is gone. Yeah, so he's gonna look at me, be like, we should go. 
and then he's going to take off. Okay. He makes his way towards the door, and he's a free boy. Pendleton is out. Um, it's uh, Boysenberry. You're grappling this guy. Mm-hmm. Um, Boysenberry is going to pump up Violet. Okay. And... I want to pump if you he, up. If he goes for another tackle, does he lose the grapple? No. He can just... He basically, what you're doing is you just Suplex. squish him. Okay. Uh, so Give him a skeesh. Good advantage to squish him. Nice. So you still have to beat his armor, but like 13. If you or do so, you just deal your damage again. 13. 13. 13. But you don't have. Yes! He's being grappled. Smooshy! Skeesh. 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 Pop his head off his body. Fuck! Oh. oh my. Did it work? Reduce him to ash. Did no, you he's still head? standing. Oh. Break his little leg. But he's no, still laying <laughs> down like, help me. <laughs> but Boysenberry uh, sweeps both his legs over and just starts to squeeze. Ooh. And the rat's eyes are like... Arr. Toothpaste rat. <laughs> but, but, uh, <laughs> Gross. Uh, uh, the rat that shall forevermore be known as three um, attempts to bite uh, Boysenberry. Get out of here. Um, and I believe that misses because that's below a ten. Yep. So that's not quite good enough. And then uh, CJ, your immediate threats are, are vanquished. Okay. Um, you guys are all out, right? Violet and Boysenberry are the only two left. Violet and Boysenberry? Yeah. Uh, How many more rats are there? I'm going to look around and be like, what's the four. immediate threat to them? There are four immediate threats to Violet and Boysenberry. Jesus. Okay. So the one that she has, the one that's trying to bite the one that... But if you get out, we has. can call them back. Oh. That's true. true. Wow. Well, no. <laughs> no, I don't know that we have engaged in battle trying to call something back. Well, we're gonna find out. Yeah. CJ's gonna look at him, thinking that's a thing, and he's gonna run out. Cool. CJ, you are out of initiative. Um, the rat that shall forevermore be known as One um, attempts to bite Violet, and I believe that hits. It's at fifteen. Yep. That's another four piercing damage to Violet. Okay. Um, and another Wait. constitution save. Come on, Violet. Get it by... Nine. Nine. Uh, your strength score goes down again. Okay. To what? No, six. That's six. You yeah. have a minus two right now. Yeah. Um, and then the Rage Rat um, is going to odds and evens. Uh, call it, Boysenberry. What doesn't hit you? Odds or evens? Evens. That's, that's an odd. Um, okay. He asked me to call it in the gym. I was like, I'm not calling it. You call it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, want that power. <laughs> yeah. So that I'll hits. clearly pick wrong. Um, and that's another four piercing. Oh, boy. And another uh, constitution save. Come on, boys. Boys in the hole. Eight. Let's see, it's 17. Or you are safe. Hey, so high, safe. <laughs> 17. Hey, so high, so <laughs> yeah, yikes. Uh, uh, the rat known as uh, 16 attempts to uh, bite Boysenberry at disadvantage because he's being grappled. It's a 17 and a 3. You're safe. <laughs> Can't quite get in there. Violet, you are pumped up. She's pumped. Yeah, so... Um, Should, should we try to call him back? Yeah. Yeah? I'm gonna try to call her back. Oh. Okay. Um, Milo, yeah. make a dexterity check. Okay. 16. Yeah. Um, right as Violet's like, Boysenberry, I got your back, fam! And then now I won't be able to get Boysenberry. Um, so, yeah, Boysenberry's kinda like, Bro, I pumped you up, where'd you go? I'm holding for you! I got it! Uh, I'm a little worried. Boysenberry, it's your turn. You're still you still maintaining I, the grapple. I'm gonna try to call Boysenberry back. All right. So this is this will be a phrase you guys are familiar with. Boysenberry currently has three quarters covered from you because he's grappling a rat and okay. there are rats around him. Change your plan. Push him down. Jump off of him in the air so he's not in any cover. <laughs> I call him back. Push him down. The the rat is grappling. Shove him to the ground and jump off of him in the air and you just call him back. This is going to be an interesting series of events if you go for that. I'm for it. I like that idea. You should have just ended it with Violet. You had advantage. You could have dusted not, it. Not you. Not you. Boysenberry. Boysenberry has the rat, a rat. The right? other rats. Uh-huh. Take the rat and shove him down. Uh-huh. Then jump off of him in the air so there's nothing blocking him. And then Phoebe calls him back. 
It's a lot of moving parts. Okay, yeah. He's going to try to, like, tackle it into the ground, like, throw it down, and then jump up so I can throw, try to get him back in the ball. Okay, so let's get a strength check. Okay. You have advantage because you're grappling the rat that you're trying to throw. So that would be... And it is not going to succeed. Nice. 18. Yeah. So you smack the rat that you're on, like, grappling, just into the ground, and then Boysenberry leaps. Dexterity check. Call by Boysenberry. He should have hyped you. Do you love him? Yikes. A loaded question, I guess. The... You kind of reach in. What was the roll? Like, you should have had him. check you pull Boysenberry back. Now the three. number. Three. Yikes. Um, yeah, so Boysenberry, you throw the grapple rat down, and it it will uh, collapse. It was not doing well. Um, and as Boysenberry leaps up over the other rats, mm-hmm. Phoebe's like, I got this! And it just goes wide. The laser goes off into the darkness of the store. Mm-hmm. Boysenberry, you still have your movement. So now there are two jumped, hungry and voracious rats that to munch over them. Run away. Yeah. They still get to try to munch you, but you could make it to the door. Okay. All you have to do is not die. All right. Oh, God. That's a natural one and a three. Ooh. And a seven and a 19. So one will hit you. Okay. He's good. Uh, Boys and Mary, you take another four points piercing damage. And let's get another constitution check. Woo! Bloop! Nice. Yeah, you're fine. Woo. You're good! Oh, Not a problem. That and then way too fun. much stress. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay, and then uh, you, you guys can hear the chaos inside as one of the rats just starts eating his friends. <laughs> the, the rage rat. The rage rat. <laughs> Mipsy is like outside just nefariously clicking his little mandibles together. Ooh. Excellent, yes. <laughs> Chaos. Wow. Yeah, uh, you guys successfully uh, escape the grocery store. Well, I don't know about you good. guys, but uh, I don't want to go into the last building. That was a horror show. Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm ready yeah. to go eat some dinner. All right. <laughs> little tone deaf there, CJ, but fair <laughs> enough. Uh, <laughs> Do you guys want to maybe go shopping now? Decompress a little bit? I want to go heal. Yeah. Violet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good work to the, the bugs. Yeah. Crash the pig rat out of his teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, Pendleton will once again crack open his pickle door. <laughs> He's so weird. I love it. <laughs> He's all about honey and now just... Fetid pickles. He's just like, was it that bad though? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. It's, I remember it's, that it's setting. like when you smell something terrible and you're like, guys, you have to smell it. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, you gotta. But he's not asking other people to smell it. He's just smelling no. it. He's so. Weird. I mean, I'm getting really curious now. Of course you are. Like, do, you, really, do, you, do you smell the pickles? I kind of want to. Do you, do you smell the pickles? I'm gonna do it. Okay. Yeah. They're they horrible. <laughs> They're awful. <laughs> like you, you ate some weird stuff in your time in the forest. This takes the cake <laughs> in terms of like nasty smells. Yeah, I'm gonna puke and then look at Pendleton and be like, "Why are you keeping that?" Bro? <laughs> he just goes. Are you starting to like that? <laughs> <laughs> God, amazing. There's like three or four pickles floating in the juice, and he's he's thinking about. Uh. Hey, yes, when you yeah. go for it, I need to watch that. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> yes. All right, I'm going to call back Evan Root and Nipsey. Cool. And head, I guess, to the Pokemon Center with you guys. Yeah, yeah. To the Pokemon Center. Okay, you guys make your way down there. Um, you are unattacked on, on your way back to the center <laughs> town. Great. <laughs> Nothing goes That's horribly new. wrong for you. Um, Weeks. Hey, Milo. Yeah. Do you, by chance, uh, check the Pidgey? 100%. Because you see a very familiar Yay. little bird. Oh, Monty! Um, he looks... It's Pedo. Oh. <laughs> <No. laughs> uh, he looks a little worse for wear. He uh-huh. looks like he might have gotten into a scrap or two on the oh, way back. Oh, dang. Um, like, some of his feathers are kind of like disheveled, and he's got this big gash on one of his wings. Um, but he, he kind of sees you, and he gets all excited, and he starts like hopping towards you, but you notice he is, as of right now, unable or unwilling to fly to you. 
uh, just like not really digesting that chunk of it right now. I mm-hmm. just like run up and embrace him. Yeah. He's very excited, and he's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and then uh, I'm like, oh, that's that looks bad. Let's get you in the Pokemon Center, buddy. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I will, if for the sake of having to do it, I'll send Derby to the PC as okay. he rejoins my team. Cool. And uh, run Monty. in and have uh, Monty and Violet get healed. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Monty has uh, has returned. He has also leveled up. Oh, um, from his time on the road, oh. um, your peck damage die goes up. Goes up. Sweet. From a D six to a D eight. Awesome. Yep. Um, from whatever he had to fight off there, he looks like more experienced, a little bit wiser. Dang. I wish uh, I could ask him what it was. <laughs> That's the thing. Or I wish he could tell me. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Answer. In case you missed that, he looks a little bit wiser. Oh. Wisdom also. Maybe we should just go to just Green Gate now so we can scour the land and see if there's any. So it goes to 12 and bird packs. <laughs> see about plus one to wisdom now with Monty. Okay, cool. Is, is the Pokemon Center able to heal up Monty's wing wound? Um, over time, yeah. They kind of like, it, it's sort of a, a growl setup. They are howl. You howl. Yeah, howl. It's a howl setup where they, they bandage it, and the nurse will be like, hey, like, take it easy for Peter. Like, he flew for a long way. Yeah. Like, this this little dude covered, like, oh, upwards yeah. of 100 miles in, like, two or three days. So, like, give him a... I'm so proud of him. He's going to be with me for a while, because he yeah. just completed his first major trial. Yeah, he did. Is there anything, uh, like, in his mailbag or, like, on him or anything to signify that the deed was done? Um, so what did you send there? You sent, like... With Monty. Yeah, it was like a, a letter in there saying that, like, my name's Milo Ruder. I'm mm-hmm. training a bird to become a male bird. This is his Green Gay trial run. Excellent. That kind of deal. Okay. Scout. You receive a um, kind of response from Phineas. Uh-huh. It says uh, something to the effect of, like, hello, Milo Ruder. Mm-hmm. I am familiar with uh, your, your name and your sort of quest. He would mm-hmm. use a different word for it, but... Um, I'm familiar with what you're trying to accomplish. Um, your parents let me know in advance that something along these lines would be happening. I'm very happy to say that your um, your little feathered friend arrived um, hale and in like good health. Um, what happened on the way back? Or there? No, so you just said he, got he, there. he arrived. No, he I mean arrived. once he got there. Oh. Like maybe like a bunch of city. pages <sighs> gained up on him and like. <laughs> <laughs> so Monty basically arrived totally fine um, and he, he says I have attached the green gate seal nice to Monty's little like male tube sweet is it like a male bird badge like it, it would be of? it would be the equivalent of yeah it's basically Sweet. like a big green ribbon um, with like this big kind of like tree symbol kind of growing onto it and it just it's a big stamp cool. and they secure it to his um, his mailbag. Cool. Is there a cool. gym in Green Gate? Yes, to my knowledge. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, do you guys want to go shopping while they heal up Monty? Uh, yes, no, maybe? Oh, of... I'm healing Crash and yeah, I've... Pendleton as well. I feel Boysenberry. All right, well, uh, Only one that took kids. I might head back over to Shay's and look for some things that might help us on, on the road, if that's all right. That's fine. I'm for okay. sure waiting here if you guys want to go, because... I can bring your guys back if you want, but okay. um, I'm waiting for Monty. Just out All of right, well, separation. That's fair. Tell Congratulate you. Monty for me. Yeah. That was well done, even though he got a little nicked up, but we yeah. on. So excited. Exciting stuff. Right. Yeah. So Bentley's going to go back to Shay's. Okay. I'll follow. Yeah, I'm going to go too. Excellent. <laughs> all right, so I'll walk in. Uh, hello there, Shay. Hey, little man. How's hey, it going? Uh, it's going well. Um, so I was wondering if maybe you sold like hiking boots here or other equipment that could help us if we were to go hiking, maybe in a, a canyon. Uh, a lot of my friends, they're they're a lot better at climbing and Crossing bridges. traversing bridges <laughs> and jumping distances and climbing sheer rock faces, and I'm not very good at that. And I would like to maybe get better at that if I could. For sure, little man. Absolutely. Uh, what size shoe do you wear? I don't know what a 12-year-old would wear. 
Let's try them on. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Pick a number. More or less your size. And that's feet. the size well, feet. Actually, yeah. kind of big feet, so. Thanks, Jordan. 26. Shuck? <laughs> yeah, just you? shack size feet. I don't know. Whatever whatever fits. Just just pick a number and that's <laughs> roll, it. Roll, roll, and see what size feet you have. This roll, is for the wiki. Roll a D8 and that's it's for the wiki! What size so shoe is belly wear? Do it. The wiki. A D8? It'll be like a 1. I don't wear a 1. Well, then pick a number. Roll a 20. I don't know. I, size 8. I don't know. D4 plus. There you go. It's size 8. I feel, like, size I feel like a it's small... A it's small cannon. There. Is you got it. Size 8 shoe. If well, someone down the line like, builds us a wiki, Bentley's a size 8 foot. Bentley's a size 8 foot. I feel like <laughs> small <laughs> Bentley would have like a size 7, but he'd order a size up to grow into them. Just so oh, he doesn't have to grown. throw them away. <laughs> Meanwhile, my feet are busting out of my shoes. <laughs> that is full grown at like four ten. <laughs> um, so he presents you with some like hiking style boots. Sweet. He says, oh, "All right, little man, these should fit you decently well, I think." All right, uh, thanks. Not yeah, entirely yeah. sure. I just have them here. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll get them to you for like ten bucks, dude. Wow. That's they haven't steel. really been moving. So to speak. All right. Well, that's uh, that's quite a bargain. I imagine that they'll tear the second I wear them outside. Yeah, probably. Who knows that? All right. Well, I'll roll the dice. Thanks, Shay. Yeah, for sure. Do y'all need any other kind of footwear? Anything like that? Uh, I don't. I don't really care about shoes. Uh, Do you like running shoes, little dude? I mean, you seem pretty fast, kind of scrappy. Yeah. Sure. You like some running shoes? Sure. All right, my man. For sure. What size shoe do you wear, dude? The nines. Okay, cool. I respect it. Um, he comes back out with like, they, they look like Skechers light ups. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> they, they don't have laces, they just have like Velcro, so you could be faster. I thought you were going to be There's like no drag when you're like, oh my the, God. the laces aren't there. Some soaps. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Hear them. So you got some, like, they don't actually, like, light up when he brings Aww. them out to you, but there's like an old little like LED strip around them. Do these things still light up? It's like, I don't know, man. You um, can try it if you want. I'm gonna take one and I'm gonna hit it on the table. Okay, you hit it on the table and this little blue light goes <laughs> Oh god. I, around. I really don't know if I should be wearing these. <laughs> <laughs> Just in the dark attracting like all sorts of enemies. Right. You guys are in a cave and everyone's finding Zubats and just attacking the CJ for the light. Yeah, how much are you selling these for? He's like, my man, these are the pinnacle of youth fashion shoes right now. So I will give them to you for a healthy twenty dollars. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy these. You got any climbing gear? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I do for sure. Okay. You need like hooks. You need ropes, ladders. What you What are you looking for? I'll take like a ladder, <laughs> fifty feet of rope, and like some climbing hooks and stuff to just make me better at climbing in general. I respect it. Uh, so the the rope that you would like to purchase is ten dollars. Okay. How many hooks are you looking for, if any? How How much do they cost? They are two dollars a piece. Okay. If memory serves. I'll buy like mm, twenty. What? Yeah. Why not? All right. There's a lot of climbing hooks. Yeah. Okay. I mean, if we're going to the canyon, yeah, probably gonna need them, and I'll share them. So this is our man. Island, man. Totally respected. It'll be forty dollars for the hooks. Perfect. Cool. So fifty bucks total. There it is. No so, tax. It's so cool. No, <laughs> this is this is Zantha, dude. We don't do taxes over here. <laughs> so do the hiking boots give Benley any sort of like modifiers to help him? You or will find out when you use them for hiking. Okay, fair enough. Um. Because right now they're kind of just bulky. They're not like the most comfortable footwear, but you have a lot of like extra grip. They give you a quarter inch height. You look a little bit taller. You're almost as tall as Milo. Need that. You're probably like a foot and a half shorter than Phoebe. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Phoebe's not like egregiously tall. You're just. I'm just very. You're, you're, just, you're just a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey Small Shay. Boy. What else yeah. do you have? Oh, what are you looking for? Um, I don't know. You gotta be a little more specific than that. I have a lot of things. Ask for toilet paper. Oh. Do you have any knives? 
little man, I do, but I'm afraid I can't sell them to somebody of uh, your, uh, how I put this, age. <laughs> what if I told you my parents said it was funny? <laughs> They'd be like, I'm going to need a note from them, and also uh, they'd have to be here and buy it for you. <laughs> <laughs> a note and they have to be there? <laughs> We're like, oh, we can finagle it. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I'll definitely talk to my parents about that. All right, for sure, little man. <laughs> I'll just make life easy. What are you looking for, Phoebs? Do you have any uh, first aid stuff besides like potions, things like that? You mean like first aid for like a human? Yeah. Oh, for sure. I have like a bunch of band aids. We got some gauze. Band aids? Yeah. For just cats. <laughs> would have been, it would have been good here. I'll show you my scar on my arm. It looks like it healed fine. It's like I have, Super glue? I have band-aids with designs on them, if that floats your boat. What kind of design? I got one has a Bulbasaur on it, my dude, if you want. Oh, that's rad. Like free, you'll just give it to me? Free charge. Hey, yeah, I want that. Wear it on your face like Nelly. Ah, uh, well, who's <laughs> Nelly? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Someone who doesn't that. exist in this universe. <laughs> Freaking band, band-aid <laughs> under my eye. Um... What about like a uh, some pepper spray? I didn't have that. No. <laughs> no. Any kind of spray? I mean, we have like some deodorizing sprays. If if you guys are looking to be out in the sun for a while, it might help you not be so smelly. Not that you are now, but if you were out for a couple days, right, right, I'm right, fine right. with being smelly. No, I'm sure you are, my man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks, Shay. Yeah, um, for sure. Gonna hey. Try out these boots, and uh, if we don't see you again, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. Maybe we'll see you again in the future. Oh, you guys are heading out of town, eh? Well, I should tell you, if you're making your way, uh, you know, due west, down to Green Gate, you guys might run into my cousin, okay? If you see him, tell him what's up. What's up. All right, what's, uh, what, what's your cousin's name? Oh, dude, his name's Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Jay and Shay. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, what does Jay do? Oh, uh, Jay also runs a mart. We're actually a family business. Oh, neat. What's the is, what's the family business called? Ah, uh, it's just the mart, man. Oh, okay. We, just, we work at the local marts. Is your last name Mart? <laughs> I wish, dude. <laughs> Shay Mart would be sick. Shay Mart would be Jay pretty Mart. I could brand that pretty easily. Yeah, that's not bad. And there's obviously Kmart. <laughs> oh, that is my aunt. <laughs> She's a little crazy. She exists. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> God. All right, so I'll head out of the shop with my hiking boots. I'll probably for now just like keep them in my pack. Okay. But now that I have them... I want to turn to Phoebe and be like, you've used these things before, right? And show you one of the hooks. Yeah. Do you think, like, if I threw it at something, it hurt it? Um, I haven't tried that yet, but probably. I mean, it can pierce rocks. Right? That's what I was thinking. Like, throwing rocks at people works. <laughs> throwing one of these. Starts, I, I don't know if I'd throw it. Ah. Uh, okay. I wouldn't throw it. We'll see. You don't want to lose it. I mean, you did buy a lot, but... <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> He's like already like, looking at stuff yeah. to throw it at. Who can I hurt with this? <laughs> Poke Center. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you head back to the Pokemon Center? Yeah. Cool. Uh, with your all your accoutrement in tow, uh, <laughs> Monty is returned to you. He is bandaged. Um... He can flit, but he cannot fly yet. Um, is Violet's strength returned to normal? It is not. Okay. Cool. Oh, it's probably going to be like a day thing. Interesting. Even after the Pokemon Center. Mm-hmm. I want to ask Nurse Joy about it. Okay. <laughs> um, she would probably tell you, at least about Violet, um, that the... Basically, like, you'd have to pay for, like, a Rattata anti venom to fix the damage that the the venom would have done to their cells. Can I buy it here? Mm-hmm. How much is it? It's ten dollars a dose. Okay. I can buy us both one. I will. Well, I'm just gonna buy two because you're not here. Oh. And then you can pay me back because I'm assuming that you would want it. Yeah. 
I thought we just got back home. Oh, okay, yeah. So Pretty yeah. crappy nurse to not tell you after giving your bottom on back. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, she she would have definitely. Oh, okay. okay. Like, yeah. That, that is a thing yeah, she yeah. would have. I'm going to buy that. Me too. <laughs> Just because I'm forgetting. Here you go, nothing unusual here. Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. Your Pokemon just didn't Thank take you. to the potions. We kept giving it to them. We had to do it like 60 times. You owe us like $7,000. <laughs> Who cares? God. Alright, so we purchased two. We yeah. purchased two. Okay. We fixed them. Okay. Uh, boys and Berries, strength goes back up by one. Oh. Uh, Ladybuzz, aka Violet, your strength goes back up by one. But you up it twice, and you... Oh, mine got... I got... Them. Okay, I'll buy the other one. Okay. It's like a... Egg nabbit. Yeah, like, the, the ratata bites are... I'm really... Largely harmless, there. but, like, over time, mm. um, that it's... That it sucks. basically causes, like, a degenerative disease that'll just start to eat away their muscles. That'd be um, cool to see what would happen to one of us if we got bit. <laughs> Um, but basically, like, yeah, Nurse will warn you, like, hey, in the future, if you encounter these things, um, if, if enough of that poison builds up, okay, if your strength drops to zero, uh, it's fatal. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. So, don't do that. They is some killers. Mm-hmm. So let's all go catch one, and then when we're in trouble, we'll just send them all out. <laughs> well, uh, just, oh, you know, just one of those, uh... Go, not in rats! One of those uh, abandoned buildings in the ghost town area has a bunch of those rats. A bunch. A lot. A lot. A lot of ratatas in there. There's like a nest, so I would maybe alert everybody in town not to go in there. Ever. Definitely a good idea, but uh, most of us know not to go in that sector of the town anyway. It's it's not safe. Fair enough. We're new here. (laughs) Tourists. Even though we've been living here for like four days. <laughs> so like, tell them. Been here for so long. <clears throat> All right, well, do y'all want to go back to Arthur's and yes, maybe yes. <laughs> sleep the night and then we can figure out where we want to go to next? Yes. Boom. All right. Back to Arthur's. Arthur's. Yeah. Away! Yeah, you guys make your way uh, back to Arthur's. Oh, yeah. She's making some good stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Freak yeah. As, like the closer and closer you get, you start to be like, oh, wafting. Oh, oh. And you just get very excited. I pick up Pendleton under my arm okay. and I run and I smack Crash on the head. <laughs> and he's like kind of looking around. He goes, ah, and he just waddles after you very quickly. Do the rest of you walk at like a normal human pace? Yes, I do. <laughs> CJ can't control his hunger. Nope. CJ gets to Arthur's house substantially quicker than all of you. Um, Arthur's sitting on the, the porch and goes, oh, uh, Hello, hello, CJ. And you're like, Gotta go. What's up, Arthur? <laughs> uh, as Ruby is putting down this massive like pot of pasta. Oh, we start yeah. scooping it into bowls. Uh, and then there's like this massive bowl. And she, you're like, is that the serving bowl? And she hands it to you. Yes! Yes! I smash my face down <laughs> into it and start eating. God. <laughs> wild boy. It's a wild boy. Ruby's like setting out silverware and stuff and just doesn't even bother for you. She's like, he's not gonna. She knows. Stuff. What's the point? She knows. Hey, Arthur, I don't know if you'd know this offhand. Um, do you know if the store sells cameras? Which store? The only store here. Oh, Shay! <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, well, no, that's sort of a more of a luxury item. We, okay. we out here tend to deal with what we've got. Okay. So down to play Pokemon now. <laughs> so down. Was that the purpose? So I have two, nice. I have two ideas with a camera. Number you are one, close. if there's something I can do to teach Monty how to take them when he goes on these trips. So if he needs to take pictures of anything that like maybe he thinks we would want to know about, we would have pictures of them. Or on a more realistic approach, Arthur here's a geologist. If we come across things that we would like identified, we could take a photo of it and send it in a letter to him. Hmm. And things of that nature. Nice. That's smart. Or like things to Ansem or whoever we've met. If there's like, hey, this might benefit that person, or like maybe they can tell us more about it, we could at least have like a picture of it. You guys could take band photos. Yeah! (laughs) (laughs) 
like that. All right, well, Bentley's going to call out all of his Pokemon and go to town on some of this pasta. Half the time. Yeah. Evanrod and Nipsey, it's like very unsettling because they get like one long noodle and they're just like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I. are like, oh, okay. I've seen Nipsey eat before and I feel yeah. like I'm not as grossed out by the pasta as I was by the spinner rack legs. Yeah. <laughs> Ruby watches and is like. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure. It's revolting. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. Poison Mary's carb loading. Yeah. Boys and Boys <laughs> like, turn <"Dry> cold, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now that he's got his strength back. Yeah. God, that's so sketch. It's good call getting out of there, because that would have been bad. smart. Uh, so, Arthur, we're probably going to head out from Xantha tomorrow morning, and I maybe wanted to ask you what direction we should maybe go in. We're thinking either... Heading over to Green Gate, or possibly back to Alluvia, going through the canyon? Well, uh... I certainly can't stop you either way. Uh, the... I recommend spending as little time in the canyon as you can. Um... The road to Green Gate's no, uh, no walk in the park either, but... You know, uh, Alluvia is a, a great place, as I'm sure you all know. There's lots to see there. Many, many a thing to do for the unbridled youth of the, of the day. Yeah, well, last time we were there, we did some training and then went and had our gym battles, and there was a lot that we didn't see. We thought maybe we could go and re-explore, but uh, could you maybe explain why we shouldn't spend a lot of time in the canyon? Are there no safe ways to go through there? Well, um, if, is, I suppose as long as you stick to the uh, bridges and normal paths out there, you should be fine. <laughs> um, I just wouldn't recommend heading down into the canyon. It gets very hot in the daytime and very cold at night. Yeah, see, that's kind of the issue here. Uh, when we came here, we crossed over the bridges and I almost died. Oh! The bridges are not very stable, so we were thinking maybe second time around trying out the canyon, but if you think it's too dangerous... Well, if you've already, uh, experienced your own mortality on the safer route, I, I suppose you would be the best judge of your own fate. All right, that's kind of a non-answer, Arthur, but I appreciate your candor. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Sounds pretty, pretty sketch. I mean, we found a, a second bridge, right? That was not, no. Cause well, you, you crossed the first bridge, and you had to do, like, dex checks yeah. across the entire thing, and you succeeded yeah. swimmingly. Yeah. And then everybody else was like, no, that seems sketch. Let's find I a safer bridge. I thought you tried, and then yeah, no. I was on the second we, bridge. Like, second bridge. seeing you... And, like do it but it was like really shaky and sketchy we went and found another bridge and it was like oh yeah this one's way more solid and then Bentley almost died because he like fell through one of the slats knocked his head went unconscious and then bang had to save him is there not a bridge on that route that's like safe travels like if you were going to go to Alluvia how would you get there well if I were to go to Alluvia I would uh Let's see, I'd head south. Did you take the wooden bridges? Uh-huh. Yeah, there's like a like a natural kind of rock bridge that sort of formed. I would I would look for that in, instead. So from heading south, is that natural bridge more east or west? That would be more to the west. Okay. And that's the typical way that most people travel between here and there? Well, I would say so, yeah. All right, well, maybe that's the answer then if we don't want to go into the canyon. Yeah. I'm not against, like, scoping it out, but I would just say, like, if it being, it, there's no, like, safe time to be there. That's the problem. It's either too hot or too cold, and that doesn't give us a lot of time to get down there and, like, the nice part of it to, like, do anything worthwhile, I don't think. I'm still pretty sketched out about bridges, but if there's one that's natural that people use regularly, I feel like that would probably be the best call, and then we can avoid whatever's down in that yeah, canyon. For sure. You'll be fine. We'll make sure you don't die. Well, bang, Will, I would guess. <laughs> Already did that once. 
right, Paul. Is there anything else that you guys wanted to handle before you turn in for the night? Um, I wanted to go back outside while they're gorging themselves, as so the I usually do. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and I'm going to send out uh, Violet and Howl. Okay. And I just want to do like a real quick group high five on how awesome they did during the gym battle and Violet for ev- evaporating that rat. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, yeah. I want uh, them to just do a little drill here. I want how to practice doing some embers, like some quick embers, and Violet's gonna just like punch them out. Sick. Yeah. Uh, Violet has an easier time with this than you might have originally thought. With each ember that comes out, she just punches it into like sparks. Sweet. Oh. oh. Pretty rad. Yeah. She's getting quick. Yeah. So was Arthur the one that told us about Jerry and Rachel? I believe so, yeah. If memory serves. Yeah. All right, so I guess while I'm eating the pasta with my Pokemon, asking him all sorts of questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Arthur, I remember you telling us about Jerry and Rachel and potentially mm-hmm. finding them in the mines. You said it was Jerry's the engineer and Rachel's a journalist who would be interested in talking with us. Mm-hmm. Um, have you seen either of them lately? Because we went into the mines and we couldn't find them, and we were curious maybe if we could talk to them before we leave. I don't know if you know that they live here or where they'd be, if we could meet up with them later on our journey. Well, I know uh, Jerry was just visiting. Um, he was sort of consulting on a project they were working on down in the mines, and uh, Rachel just <laughs> makes her way around the world, likes to talk to traveling trainers, hear their stories. Um, so I'm, I'm sure at some point she'll find you. Fair enough. What was the project in the mines? Uh, I can't say I know for sure. Um, Jerry and I didn't speak much, but he seemed like an interesting fellow. Uh, it had something to do with um, drilling deeper into the, into the mines, seeing if we couldn't uh, reopen some of these mines, get a little business back in town, have some more people come back in, maybe rekindle the fire that used to be Zamp. Fair enough. Well, I I mean, we've spent quite a bit of time here, and while it's been a a mixed bag, I feel like overall we've enjoyed ourselves, and I just want to thank you very much for letting us stay here all this time. You've been very cordial to us, and I appreciate that. Well, well, of of course. My, uh, My home is yours. Any time, any day. So if you make your way back to Xantha any time, do be sure to swing by. I know Ruby will miss you, young man, you, as you're just... <laughs> Me too. <laughs> just mouthful of pasta. <laughs> um, one last thing. Or, uh, yeah. Uh, pick a card. And have a lot of ten cards. <laughs> he goes, oh, oh. Well, <clears throat> certainly. And just flex one. Okay, don't show it to me. Roll d10. And don't tell me what the answer is. Okay. Okay, and then shuffle it back into this very small deck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll write that. And then uh, I'm gonna like shuffle them around. Okay. And I'm gonna say thank you for your time here. And was this your card? <laughs> and I hold up the uh, seven of flame. Again. He he goes. No. <laughs> I'm working on it. Sorry. <laughs> he goes. Well, uh, you know. Never stop chasing your dreams. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I was just gonna see if he was gonna try to lie to you or not. That was a six. <laughs> That's so cool. what, 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 what like, number did he roll on the ten? One. Oh, okay. It was the two of coal that he pulled. Did you did you make all of them? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Amazing. That's legit. There's gonna be a point where you do the magic trick and it will win us like thousands of dollars. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just thinking about it in a way, uh, even just as a dumb trick that never works, but as a distraction. So I'm like, hey, pick a card, and then uh, they can be doing it and like be stealth checks and other things. While you guys are doing stuff, That's and I'm like, oh, dang it. A <laughs> bunch of urchins. One more time, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Stop looking. Um, Bentley's just going to go over into the corner with his Pokemon and kind of like sit in a little circle, and cool. he'll set the egg down and sit it in between him and Mortar. 
And then Mortar can just like Jesus. kind of. <laughs> Is that coming out of the egg? Egg! Egg! egg. Oh, egg. Jesus. Do you, it's hatching. <laughs> yeah, so you set the, the egg betwixt you and your friends? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just want to, like, sit it next to Mortar so, like, his flame body can kind of naturally, like, warm it. Mm-hmm. And then just sit around with my friends. Okay. Cool. Do, do we want to discuss where we want to go so we can leave at dawn and not discuss it then? Yeah. Yeah, yeah sounds like a good idea. Um, I'm super down to go back to Olivia. There's kind of some stuff I want to do. Loose ends I want to tie up. Yeah, well, I think if Arthur's right about this bridge that's more safe, that would at least clear up crossing the canyon, which I was worried about. Yeah. But I know that there was a lot in Olivia that we didn't explore. And For sure. Could maybe go back to Ernie's and try mm-hmm. and save those Pokemon that he was... Keeping in the back. Yeah. That's what, um, go ahead. What? Go ahead. I was trying to find it. <laughs> Searching through the notes. Through the notes. It sounds like you guys want to go back to Luvia, but I'm down to see some trees. So I'm fine with whatever we decide. We can go up there after. I'm not opposed. There's. Yeah. What? Go ahead. Uh, no, I've just been, I've been having dreams about that electabuzz. Dreams? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really curious, because I just kind of got out of there, because it yeah, seemed it, like a place that I really, shouldn't be. Yeah, it freaked me out in the moment, but then I, f- I feel really bad that we just left it. I do too, but I, I can't be sure if he was telling the truth either. Like, maybe it was just a Pokeball, but maybe it wasn't an electabuzz, maybe yeah. he's like abusing Pokemon somehow? Yeah, I mean, that's the problem, is like, even if it's not an Electabuzz, it's still something that's not in good shape. Yeah, I've been thinking about it too, Phoebe. I feel like maybe we should go back and, now that we're a bit stronger, we can yeah. try and figure it out, get David on the case, maybe he could help us out? Yep. Yeah, that... I agree. Yeah. What do you think, sure. CJ? Sounds good. Cause Sounds trouble good. in a big city? That sounds like your cup of tea. You could do more of your uh, wrestling shows for money. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like we I'm spent really so much out. time here and we spent a day there and there's like way more to do. It's 10 times larger there. Yeah, yeah, there's so much there. And then the one thing that I really want to do there is go back to the right of learning and see if we can get any more information on how to further develop these abilities that we learned from them. Yeah, that's like, a good idea. Hey, we've been using these. <clears throat> Phoebe's is stuck. Like, what do we need to do to, like... Am I... Yeah. Like Do better and more. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but, Thank you so like, if there's any insight we can get there, and we've also made some new friends that could potentially learn something else, too, which I think is a bonus. Mm-hmm. Um, and map-wise, we would go from Xantha back down to Alluvia, and then from Alluvia, we could go over to Watalongo, which I think... Tia said has another one of those training centers. It has another one, yeah. Right so, learning. Yeah, I was thinking too, like maybe we could figure out like if there would be a way to like change moves that we have. Like or instead of adding one. To the, yeah. Like upgrading them further. Or I mean or potentially getting another one. I mean it it'll really depend, but I think the benefit of being able to go to two to just like compound that twice. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. I mean, my thought is Evanrood has Bug Bite and has leveled it up, but Evanrood is still pretty squishy and doesn't really like to be up in battle because he likes to hang back and do double team and fire away ranged attacks with wing attack. But if Bug Bite became like Bug Buzz, where you could do it at range and just have two ranged attacks, that could maybe help him out in battle. No, so that's that, kind of what I was thinking. I for sure. Yeah. But I mean, I feel like regardless, going back to Alluvia and exploring more than we did is going to have plenty to do. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Sounds good. Cool, Leo. All right, team. Well, I'm going to go try and catch some Z's. I'll have Morta nestle next to the egg, try and. Warm it with flame body, see if we can get this thing to <laughs> hatch and not say egg nefariously. Egg. <laughs> what do you egg. want? Are you hungry? Egg. 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 Just an arm comes out of it. Oh my gosh! Egg. Yeah. That's in your future. What color is the arm? 
Well, no secrets. <laughs> and we do know that there are pony ta on this route if we want another fire <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of our aesthetic at this point. Yeah. You want also, a fight squad? If I can, doesn't have one. The, so, squad! <laughs> my, my biggest dilemma is if I can ride it, I want to catch it. Just so I can. I'm going to get walk. six and then have a sled team. Nice. That'd be so badass. We just roll up on Ponyta anywhere we go. Right? Oh, and you could have Nubster do <laughs> Ice Beam to luge it up. That'd be sweet. That'd be rad. <laughs> cool. I'm going to sleep, y'all. Good night. I'm gonna go hug Ruby, get a little toasty before bed. Oh yeah. And then I'm going to bed. <laughs> Thanks for the food, Ruby, as always. She gives like a deep bow and then is like trying to be more humble. And it's just like, thanks. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Good time. Sleepy time. Going to sleep? Okay. Boat out. Yeah. Cool. Phoebe just falls asleep. Just like that. that no, not even a second. <laughs> Oh. I'm still up for a little bit. I'm okay. gonna have Violet pick a card. <laughs> okay. Violet picks a card. Alright, Violet. Put it back in the deck. She goes, slides it back to you. And then um, I'm gonna take note of where it was okay. and do a shuffle okay. and do like a sleight of hand to see if I can put it in like the third from the right spot. Okay. Do a pretty decent job at it. Um, where is it? Dexterity. Oh, so 15 on that. So making up the skills that I didn't think we would need. Yeah. So he threw it away. Making up my own rules, <laughs> since I don't think you're gonna DM my. Unless, you, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. You're, there's a weird <laughs> idea that you keep doing. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna shuffle them, um, but like it's like a. Not a regular shuffle, I'm just like doing the dumb I'm kid shuffle. Um, and it's uh, it's it's in the area, but not quite like where I want it to be. Okay. So we'll say if it's like a four, then I did it right. Did it. Nailed it. Nailed it. <laughs> and then I just pull the card and goes, is this your card, Violet? And she and like... she goes... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yes! And then I put it back in and... Uh, Put it in my backpack and like high five Violet and then whack and then I go. You've been doing so well lately. I'm so proud of you. And then she clacks all the fists together and then say good night and call her back and get to sleep. Cool. And that's where we call it. As another day in Xantha comes to a close, our heroes prepare themselves for the journey back to Alluvia. What might they find when they get there? And more importantly, what might find them?